Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with another package video. Received a um, package in the mail. Sorry, just to be careful with addresses and things like that. Um, and it's for one of my very favourite retro computer systems. And they are titles for the MSX computers. Um, and it includes both cartridges, which are very rare to find, and tapes. And they came from an Australian auction. And I got it for quite cheap. I'm just trying to remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much at all. So the first one, and I've never heard of this one before, is Flappy Limited by DBSoft. It's an MSX one, so the top label's in Japanese, but it's got an English label on the side. Um, and a metal protector like the Sony ones. Um, and next, another cartridge. Okay, so this one's all in Japanese. Sorry, we've got focusing issues today. This has got quite a nice picture on it. Okay, camera's not going to play ball. Now, it doesn't have any English writing on it. So we're going to have to wait and see. Alright, um, next. Uh, now this is a, um, a tape game. And um, called Trailblazer. Which doesn't look too bad. Bit of sticky tape and, um, and stickers on the case. And the screenshots don't look too bad. So you've got to go along the track and, and bounce over the holes, I believe. I sort of remember that one from back in the day. Then we've got Peter Beardsley's. How are we getting glare problems today? International football. And the cases are in good condition. We've got some very interesting screenshots there. The characters look quite big. In this case, it's just got a little bit of damage to it, but it's still okay. And the um, tapes in there, and got some more. I didn't realise there's so many cartridges in this one. So another one called Topple Zip by Both Tech. And another mystery cut. Got a howl. The labels in are in excellent condition. We've got one more tape game. And it's a football manager, so football manager by addictive software. So it's more about you know managing your team and things like that. MSX screenshots on the back there. So, it looks quite good. I'm really excited about getting some MSX titles in my collection again. Um, and um, let's go and have a look and see how those titles go. Right, here we go, a football manager on the MSX for addictive from Addictive Games. Okay, so we um, we choose a team. Uh, Liverpool, I don't know. I'm not very um, familiar with um, English football team. We better go for beginner. Um, okay, so it's very in depth. What you can do. So we have a match here. Sound up. Um, okay, and we get to watch the game obviously. Not much happening at the moment. What if we crashed? <laughs> Is there any trouble with loading games off tape? 
All right, well, we may have had a misload, um, um, and one of the other tape games didn't quite load as well, so that's that's the danger with old tape games. Um, I may actually need a new um, tape deck for the MSX to make, allow this one to load better. All right, I'll move on to the cartridge games now. Right, here we go with the first of the cartridges. It's called Flappy. Um, I think, well, you can uh, determine set the speed and a keyword or things like a level save. Uh, I'll start space. So hopefully the sound's coming up alright for you. Okay, now this is quite a colourful little one. I did have a quick game just to try and figure out what the hell was going on. I still haven't quite figured it out. I mean, you can pick up these which look like mushrooms. And I think you can drop a mushroom um, you've got to be right next to one of those green guys. Um, to stun a player for a little while, you can push the blue rock around. And if I sneak up in here and wait for the right moment, I make the rocks drop. Ah, oh, and I ran into the guy. Um, start again. And it squashed the guy, so I got a score, so I got 100 points. So. Grab those again, being a bit repetitive here. I mean, it's quite a colourful game, it's using the um, graphics reason well, and it's got some music, which is sometimes a little unusual for an MSX game. Uh, not my luck as soon as I move. Okay, so we can put that poison stuff there, and it makes him go weird for a second. But I believe if I touch him, I still die. Yeah, so you've got to sort of time, time it right and get him to stay away or something like that. No, not quick enough. <laughs> One more go. I mean, just sometimes with some of these quirky Japanese games, um, they can actually be quite fun once you figure out what the objectives are. And sometimes you could resort to going on the internet and reading up about them. I can't last man. Unfortunately, as in most things, uh, repetitive music can um, really start to irk you when you're not getting anywhere. Right, you can throw the um, poison things. Ah, not quick enough. Right, well I did actually find out some new information there, so you can throw the mushrooms. Might um, be able to do a bit of strategy later, but that's not a bad game. Let's try another one. Right, next game is called Step Up. Got a bit of music. Right, and it's a scrolling platform game. Ah, well, you've got to avoid the obstacles and try and see how high you can get, and there's a bit of strategy involved. And oh, um, in trying to figure out what you've got to do to get past. Ooh. I somehow got a power up then. Maybe it's when you get. Oh, 
Ooh, spider. I right, can grab the mouse and become invisible invincible for a second. Yay! And now a spaceship comes and Am I supposed to do something? I am supposed to do something. <laughs> Oops. Oh, this is actually not a bad little platform game. Um, yeah. Good addition to the collection. Let's try another one. Right, now this next one's called Topple Zip. It took me a little while to work out the only way you can start is by pressing the joystick button. And it seems to be a bit of a shoot 'em up. Um, and I've done a restricted play field sort of thing. And you can shoot some things on the play field. And it gives you different power-ups. It's very flickery though. Right, and you've got different height landscape as well, which you've got to be careful of. And I've got an energy bar on the left, which when I run out of I'll lose life. That weapon had a certain amount of energy. I could even be missing out on something because it could be a game that uses two but the two button joysticks. Ooh. You've got to use your height a bit, I think, to... Ooh. And there I go, run out of energy. And you only get the one life too, which is a little bit annoying, but... Um, oh, yeah, you know, worth investigating and figuring out the rules of the game a little more, and... Um, and pretty good. There is one more cartridge game, um, but it is, I mean, I had a quick look, look at these to make sure that they loaded. Um, and it's all in Japanese, and it seems to be some sort of strategy war game. Um, I did eventually get a map to come up. Um, but, um, you know, probably not one that I can play, but interesting one to have in the collection. That's the one with the really nice um, label art. Anyway. Alright, hope you've enjoyed these demos, and it's great doing a bit of MSX. Um, I did have trouble with the tapes, tapes being old, I'll, um, I'll just add on one little bit of footage from one of the football managers but it crashed after it did load. Um, I may look at um, you know, downloading the ROMs of any tape games I get in the future, So, because um, obviously they're getting very old and very hard to load, um, and we might be able to demo them that way. Alright, I'll catch you all next time. Right, uh, this is Peter Beardsley's International Football. Um, okay, select a player for joystick, maybe. Yes. Uh, first one, player two, Turkey. The match time, five minutes, yep. Yeah. One player league, round one. Just be interesting to see what the graphics are like. Okay, what are we going to happen?
Okay. Um, besides the fact that the music's highly annoying. <laughs> Don't seem to be able to control the fire. Okay, throw something to throw in. Okay, so I am actually controlling the player, just that the CPU player runs go so fast. And he's going to get a goal. Okay, so perhaps reading the instructions before playing games, especially of this nature, is a good idea. Um, so there we go, a soccer game on the MSX, who would have known? And um, we'll leave it at that.